Uh, regarding the Epstein list, um, this is my area of concern. I'm not out to bust skulls. I'm not out to score political points. I'm not out to say, yeah, but. I'm not, a, I'm not out to, oh, Clinton, but Trump, Trump, but Clinton, and a lot of that's going on. Regarding the Epstein list, I'm concerned about charging, prosecuting, and convicting pedophiles. I'm concerned about pedophilic behavior that happened during the life of Jeffrey Epstein, that happened as a result of Jeffrey Epstein. If we discover that Jeffrey Epstein was blackmailing our political figures in America or black uh, blackmailing millionaires and billionaires in the United States of America, that is a bonus. But my concern is simple. Where are the investigations and criminal charges against Epstein associates and friends, regardless of their political affiliation or their fame? Where's the justice for those children who were abused? Where's the active criminal investigation? Where's the evidence of the active criminal investigation? Does this release of these names, which I have no problem with, by the way, bring us any closer to criminal conviction? Does it bring us any closer to criminal prosecution? Does it bring the public any closer to learning the truth about what happened, with whom, and how much? If not, then what the bleep are we even doing? And I didn't bleep it. And yeah, it's the word you think it is. I want justice for children. I want justice for children. I don't care where that leads me. And I don't think any, I don't take anything for granted. I don't take anything for granted. When it comes to who might be involved in any of this. And I think the process of attempting to score political points, and I'm not talking about my brethren in talk radio, I'm not. I'm talking about all of it. Bill Clinton is doing this and saying that. Yeah, but Trump. Trump is doing this and saying that. Yeah, but Clinton. There are differences, obviously, and I can point them out to you. Does that bring us closer to criminal prosecution of pedophiles? There is nothing more disgusting on planet Earth, and I think I might include murderers in this remark. There is nothing more disgusting on planet Earth than someone who would soil the innocence of a child through abuse, sexual or otherwise. And I don't care what you call yourself after that. Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, libertarian. I don't care how much money you have in the bank after that. I want to know the truth. And whatever impediment is in front of me in getting into the truth, I want to destroy that obstacle and get to the truth. I frankly feel that way about most everything we talk about on the radio on a daily basis between noon and three. It is a matter of defending your voice and getting to the truth. And I've been struggling with this subject for several days, and I couldn't figure out why. And I figured it out this morning. Because none of us gets it, gets it, gets it, none of this gets us closer. It's a week long story. That will go away if we let it. I want justice for those abused. And justice has been delayed and denied for years. I was right there with everyone else. You know, Epstein didn't kill himself, the whole bit. It was a big joke, wasn't it? It's all a big joke with regard to the justice system and the FBI and our federal bureaucracy and the two-tier level of justice that we see in America today based on, you know, there was a time when American justice was black and white. Sad, I'm sad to say that, but it's true. That if you were a person of color in the United States of America, maybe even in the state of Tennessee in the 1940s, uh, you probably didn't get the same type of justice that a white person got. I'm sad to say it, but it is true. That system of justice has long been replaced, and rightly so, but it was not replaced with a, an appropriate one-tier system now it's all about green. Green. And if you don't believe me, then 
lets you and I get in an automobile, find a golf course somewhere, go find O.J. Simpson and ask him about that. And I don't know how this gets us closer. Maybe it will. Maybe there's something that I'm not seeing. But what I do see is a lot of politicalization of this information and no furtherance of an effort to get to the truth because there are too many layers of bureaucracy keeping us away from it. And there's too much money involved in that bureaucracy to prevent individuals in positions of power from coming clean with what they know regarding this issue. Jeffrey Epstein was an incredibly powerful individual. He met a lot of people. Some of those people that he met were not pedophiles. Some of those people that he met were. I want to know who's who. This list does not tell me that. These names do not tell me that. But I want to know. And what I do see is a lot of cherry picking with regard to the reaction to all of this. I do not believe, based on my digging through evidence, that Donald Trump had anything to do with Jeffrey Epstein at the height of his pedophile island because Donald Trump, he got the lowdown on Epstein back in the 1990s. But that doesn't mean that I dismiss his association with Jeffrey Epstein. Of course I want to know the truth. And I think you do too. So I don't know what we're doing with the story, except it's a story that some have had interest in. I believe that many of us, and I don't know, maybe early on I would count myself in this number, I'm not immune from falling into this trap, so I would include myself among you you, when I say this, that we were hoping for something we were never going to get. We were hoping for truth and answers. My analysis of this story is it brings us no closer to truth and answers. And sadly, I fear it will be gone like a fart in the wind as soon as the next big thing comes up. And that's my take on that. That's all I have to say about it. I want the truth. We're learning a few things. We're nipping around the edges. I mean, oh, Michael Jackson, what? I mean, come on. I don't care about the dead people. The dead people are dead. And I believe God is getting his justice for for those folks if they, in fact, engaged in the type of activity that I believe they engaged in. I believe that Michael Jackson engaged in pedophilic activity. I'm allowed to believe that. I don't need a court conviction to believe that. 